So why do we suffer from diseases? Why do we suffer from illnesses? One of the most important discoveries of medical science is that most diseases are caused by low-grade inflammation. So what is inflammation? Inflammation is defined as the body's response to injury. So from that definition, we can see that inflammation is actually a healthy process. You know, it helps the body identify when it's in trouble, when it's being attacked, and it, it responds to that attack. But low-grade inflammation, chronic inflammation, inflammation that continues on and on without stopping would lead to all kinds of diseases. Inflammation of the stomach would lead to gastritis. Inflammation of the joints will cause arthritis. Inflammation of the heart will cause all kinds of heart problems and on and on it goes. So why do we suffer from inflammation? There are three main causes of inflammation. The presence of contaminants in the body. These contaminants are chemicals, foreign chemicals, chemicals from the foods we eat. Processed food contain a lot of preservatives and other kinds of chemicals that are added to enhance food. Water we drink contains a lot of chemicals. So that's one cause of inflammation, contaminants. Inflammation is also caused by microorganisms, viruses, bacteria, fungus, worms, parasites. These enter the body when the immune systems are low and then they attack the organs and cause inflammation. Inflammation is also caused by nutritional deficiencies. So when we don't eat healthy foods, you know, when we don't get proper nutrition, the body lacks nutrients and over time this gives rise to inflammation. So you can see by identifying these three main causes, we can start to reduce inflammation in the body and prevent diseases. So how can we cut down on contaminants? The easiest way is to watch what you're putting into your mouth. The foods we eat, processed food contain a lot of chemicals, like we've said before. So it pays us to eat more natural foods, you know, to go for organic foods when we can find them and trust them. We have to eat nutritional foods as well. When we're getting enough vitamins, enough minerals, that would help us avoid or prevent inflammation. And then the lastly, infections. I think one of the simplest ways to deal with all kinds of infections is with an agent called colloidal silver. Colloidal silver is a very potent natural antibiotic. It's antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal and there are lots of scientific studies that have shown that colloidal silver is safe and effective against these microbes. So to recap, to prevent diseases we have to lower inflammation in the body and this can be done by eating healthy foods by avoiding contaminants in the body and then when we have when we have suffer from infections by using effective agents that don't have side effects like colloidal silver